Hi, my name is Austin Newell. And I'm Jesse from Tech Tip Video, where I did the tutorial slash review of Instagram's hyperlapse. And here's where I'm going to be showing you how to do the same effect with editing software. Okay, so the editing program that I'm going to be doing this in is Adobe Premiere CS6. So the first thing I've done is I've gone out and gotten three different sets of footage. I've gotten the straight footage straight from the Instagram hyperlapse app. It's going to be exactly what the app puts out. I went out and recorded a 26 second clip just from my iPhone without using the hyperlapse. So it's still going to be 26 seconds long without it being sped up. And then for the third one, I used some DSLR footage to generate the same effect. Okay, so looking at the Instagram hyperlapse video. So the first thing to look at is that when you render it out of the app, it comes out as 1280 by 720. You, even though you recorded it at 1920 by 1080, so already it's cutting half your resolution. I believe that's because of the stabilization that it does inside the app itself. So let's watch that real quick. Okay, so another thing I'll notice is that the app doesn't control the settings on the phone as, as well as you may be able to do yourself. You can see right here in the sky, it's all blown out and there's no detail at all in there. And then that's just something that sometimes it might get, sometimes it might not. And so that was one of the problems. At first I thought it was just the phone, but then when I realized I went and recorded the phone footage, the phone footage looked a lot better. It had all the detail in the sky. So let's watch that one right now. So I can kind of see already that I'm generating the same effect as I did without using the app, but I'm getting more quality out of the shot. See it here in the sky, it has actual color detail instead of just being all white, and it doesn't get as much flickering, and it is still at 1920 by 1080, so it keeps all the resolution. And so now for the third shot is the DSLR shot. So this one is where you have more controller settings, so it's not going to have very much flickering going on. It's just, just straight out of DSLR, and then put through the process I'm going to show you right now. So that one looked a lot better, a lot more smoother, and it didn't have any flickering because no, none of the settings were automated. So how I achieve this effect is that I bring the footage, let's say I bring straight from the iPhone, and I bring that footage into its own comp. So I have an iPhone comp over here, and I bring the iPhone footage straight into the comp. So the first thing I want to do, I'm just going to get rid of this audio here. The first thing I'm going to do right now, it's not stabilized or sped up at all. I mean, it's, the phone has its own stabilization, but it didn't do any actual stabilization that the app would have done. So the first thing I'm going to do is throw on a warp stabilizer. So you go over to your effects and presets and type in warp stabilizer. Drag that on there. And it's going to do a lot of automating that I'm just going to speed on through that it has to analyze the footage first. Okay, so I turned the effect off right now because it's going to take a little while, but I'm going to show you that once it's done actually analyzing all the way through, what I did on this first clip was that 50% was a, was too much. It made it look a lot like jello. It just waved all over the place and it didn't stabilize it as well as I wanted. So what I did was on this one, I just turned it down to 20% and that gave me a pretty decent equal look to the stabilization that the Instagram app gives. So that is all you have to do just for the stabilizing part on that. So what you're going to do is what I did was go into another comp, make a whole new sequence, and then you're going to drag that iPhone sequence into here so it's not going to have any effects on it when you bring it in. So now you have the video and it's stabilized but it's still 26 seconds long and you want it to be cut down. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to right click on the footage, you go to speed and duration and it's going to say 100%. That's the normal rate that your footage goes, just 100%. So to get an equal amount is start increasing this. So I went all the way up to 500% and that turned 26 seconds into 5 seconds and so that's what I'm going to go with. So now if you watch it, it's stabilized and has the speed run through lapse look that the app gives you. But instead of in the app, you did it on a computer and you have more detail in your shot and more control over how fast you want it to go or how stabilized you want it to go. So I did the exact same thing with the, footage, with the DSLR footage and it got a little bit better result just because it didn't have any flickering or um, jello-y movements. So it did a better stabilization but most people won't be doing this with the DSLR. I just, I just wanted to throw that one in as another option. So if you compare the two, this is from the app, you lose about 50% of your quality and you don't have any control over 
what it's doing with your settings on your phone while it records. And here's where you get to keep quality. It's still full resolution. It has a better exposure going on in the shot. It has a better saturation. And you actually get to choose the speed and stabilization that you want. So both are good, but now you know how to do it both ways. Let's just say you want to just do this on the go. And you just want to do it and upload it straight to Instagram or YouTube. That's what you can do. If you wanted to make a really nice one that you want to just put somewhere that just shows like you're on vacation or or the daily walks that you could do, you could just record them, save them on your own, and then get home and then do them later on. So that's it. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. If you liked either of our videos, please like and subscribe. Hi, my name is Austin Newell, and today I'm here with Jesse from the Tech Tip Tech Tip Video. Tech Tip Video. <laughs> my name is Austin Newell, and today I'm here with Jesse from Tech Tip Video. <laughs> Hi, my name is Austin Newell, and today I'm here with Jesse from Tech Tip. I can't do it. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. If you liked either of our slow down. Okay, I felt it. <laughs>